gathered in his name. We must say thank you, Father. Dr. Dubois. He's around now. He's with us today. He will be with us always. He was born an African. He lived as an African and he died as an African. Through an accident of birth, he was born in the United States but he was never an American. He was an African through and through, a true blue African. He thought like an African, he lived like an African, and he served Africa. He deserves our service. Therefore, I greet all of you in his name. At one point in our program for this evening, we will let fly a dove, a white dove. The symbolism of that white dove would be that it represents Pan-Africanism as preached and practiced by our when we release the white dove, the message that goes with the release would be, spread the word through Africa. We are but one people under one God and in service to one nation, Africa. The name of the dove is Pan-Africanism. Recently, only last week, there was an upheaval in Togo and internal combustion. Would fly to Togo and inform the people there that we are a one people. The dog will fly to Nigeria, to Zimbabwe, to Zambia, to Algeria, to Kenya, proclaiming Dr. Dubois' concept of pan-Africanism. When this dog is released, I don't know at this point, but it will be released. I would like all of you to applaud and get up and look at the dog and see where it's headed. Because you will never see that dog again. But it carries the message. Pan-Africanism. We don't have no problems with Togo. We don't have no problems with anybody. We have enough problems here in this country to take care of. I stand here in the name of Jack Rawlings, our present, current, energetic, courageous, young man on the warpath. <laughs> come to him and you talk to him person to person, he will talk to you person to person. If you come to him holding a gun, he will be the first to shoot you down. Mm -hmm. 